Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another fabulous Minecraft discussion today up at the High Meadow in the Notch. And my name is Kimberly Quinn, and I'm thrilled to talk about today uh, the, the fact that not everybody's going to like you. You know, it's it's not always the easiest conversation to have. It doesn't feel good, but you know what? The conversation can really help, I think. So there are a few things to remember. First of all, if you're caring about other people liking you, you're not residing in your own frame. That's just it. So number one is to acknowledge that I, if I'm caring about this, and it, it's human, it's human. We all want to be liked and approved of, I guess, right? However, when we're when we're when we need it and we care about it, we're we got to realize that we're not living inside our frame of authenticity that we were born in little in our little baby frames. Okay, so that's number one is climb back in your frame, realize that you're out of it, work hard to get back in it because you want to be doing the backstroke inside that frame in, in your own authenticity remembering that needing other people to like us has the, has the need outside the frame which means we uh can't really you know uh handle things until until that need is fixed the box is checked at the very least we're uncomfortable all the way over to in excruciating emotional pain so we don't want needs outside of ourselves bring that back into the frame okay so that rolls right into the next one which is don't take things personally. There's a great book called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And he talks about that's one of the four, obviously. And not to take things personally, because remember, 95% uh, 90, of what we say and do is coming out of the vault. We're not even aware of it. So it's also true of the person giving us the snark or maybe silently, maybe not verbalizing the snark, but they're walking around sending, you know, mental poisonous spears at us just mentally we've all felt that ding 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 ding. we're like whoa 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 and they're you know and whatever it's so important to realize not to take that personally so number one in your frame and you're with your own authentic self doing the backstroke in your own, own authenticity next realize it's not personal it's about them like 95 or 99 percent of whatever they're talking about even if they're using your name and they're coming up with things that you did 10 years ago or two weeks ago or this morning whatever Mo the high majority of that is about them and not you. It's really, really important to remember that. Do not take things personally. And then lastly is realize, lastly is realize that the people are also reflect. So not only is it not about you, this is why don't, it's important not to take it personally. There are a lot of bear trails here. Wow. I, I, I was told by the caretaker recently that I was walking, which is right here. This is it. This is Bear Alley. That I was walking, little G. We've been uh, coming through here. He's at the spa, by the way. He's fine. Getting his you know, trimmed and, and everything. A little hairballs cut, you know, shaved. And he'll smell like pumpkin spice when he comes back. But the caretaker to here told me I've been walking right, right through the main bear crossing, which is evident by all the bear trails here, like on all the sides, which is wild. Okay, anyway, the third one, as far as uh, realizing people don't like, you know, may not like you. You can't be liked by everybody. And honestly, I think if, if every, ev that's a big word, everybody. If everybody likes you, there's a lot of inauthentic behavior going on. Because if, if we're, we, if we are our authentic selves, eventually somebody's not going to like it. And there, you know, I don't, thankfully, I don't, to my knowledge, there aren't, I don't have a lot of those. And when I've come across people who didn't like me for whatever reason, I was, I was really almost kind of, uh, not only okay with it, but kind of relieved because the, just the p personas they were presenting aren't people I would think would like me, you know what I mean? Or I'm doing something that I doesn't align with, with who I am. So that's one thing. And the other thing is that, you know, when you come up against the pricklies who don't like you and maybe try to sabotage you at work or, you know, just they're passive aggressive or they're aggressive aggressive and doing macro and micro aggressions is what they're really doing is projecting. We've talked about that before. People often use the word incorrectly because I think because it's just commonplace and people do that but real projection which stems from or comes from Freud is one of his defense mechanisms that he came up with way back in the early part of the 20th century and though you know he gets a he gets a bad rap for a lot of things there are a few things people really I don't think can take away from and one of them is is defense mechanism that's a common term people talk about it a lot oh it's just a defense mechanism and and they and, and the thing is that those at least in the freudian sense are unconscious which me which means obviously we are not aware we're doing them and one of the 
easiest, easiest, probably most common emotions to project is shame because it's so freaking painful. Nobody wants to feel shame. We're feeling defective and flawed and not good enough. And, and if we have guilt rolled in there, that's a real cocktail we don't want. So we throw that out. All, anybody who, who will catch it, right? And so typically when people aren't liking us, they're really reflecting back how they're feeling about themselves. It's really important to remember that and to just, and which goes from the, the thing we said right before this, which is not to take it personally because it's about them, like 99% about them. Even if there's some truth in some, like it's their whole perspective thing is, is about them. And to realize that they're reflecting back stuff. So, and oftentimes, most often we talk about that shame, ways that they're not feeling enough themselves. And shame can have all these little offshooty emotions, right? It can, and it's just toxic. Shame is the spiritual and emotional equivalent of, of drinking turpentine for breakfast. We talked about it, which is different from guilt. Guilt says I made a mistake, right? Kind of prevents us from doing bad things, spreading vicious rumors, punching somebody in the beak, you know? Where it says shame says I am the mistake. It's deep. It's deep. And that's why it's so toxic. So little offshooty emotions from that. Some of them are, and there's a lot, jealousy, envy, which are very close, but, but different. And so if somebody's not liking you, it's just important to remember this, that that stuff, all that stuff all belongs to them. It all belongs to them and try. And then lastly, try to get comfortable with the uncomfortable because Human, as human beings, we are wired for connection, right? We are wired for connection. So it can, it can feel unsettling when somebody doesn't like us. Um, but rather than trying to get into this endless pursuit of approval of this person who's not worthy of you, right? And, and, and just, you know, chasing down this approval, which they like and just further reinforces their toxic behavior towards you, become comfortable with the uncomfortable and just have a talk with yourself. Okay, so-and-so doesn't like me and, and that just doesn't feel comfortable. Even though I know that it's about them, even though I know it's not about me, even though they're feeling jealous, clearly envious, maybe the whole office knows that they're jealous and envious or whatever. And it, it cognitively, all that logic is there, but it still doesn't feel good. Okay, so just give, give yourself that and be patient with yourself and be compassionate. And then you will, you will learn to become comfortable with the uncomfortable that okay well, that person doesn't like me and that's okay it's really quite okay I'm in my frame I'm in my own authenticness you know swimming in the backstroke of, of my very best self my highest vibe and it's okay that they're outside my frame doing whatever they're doing because it doesn't need to affect me I don't need to allow it to affect me and that's just it so so yeah so just realize that not everybody's gonna like you it. it's a it's a it can feel hard, but it really isn't. And the thing, like anything else, what we practice, we get better at. So we can get better at residing our, in our frame and learning to detach from, from those people. And if we really want to help yourself detach, this can help too. In the psychology world, we talk a lot about separating the person from the behavior. So it's really their behavior that's getting in the way it's hurtful it's this or that or that and underneath there is a spirit that's separate from that and it can it can help us it doesn't mean it gives anybody a pass we are not saying that at all people need to take accountability no question and it can still help us to understand that when people are feeling whole and happy and complete they don't behave this way right so that can further help us to step back into our frame be like the just be an observer we've talked about that too be an observer and just be in your frame, safe and sound in your frame, in your authenticity, and just let them let them spin into their own destruction or do whatever they want to do. And maybe they'll even come around in a kind, nice way and ask you for help. But step out of the step out of the path of their chaos. Back in your frame. And that's it. And that's it. Not everybody's gonna like you, and that's okay. This is Kimberly Quinn signing oh, that's a nice bird. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful notch. Have a very authentic mindful day.